Wonderful. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. Hi, Maggie. Hi, everyone. Hi, you can hear me okay? Yes. Great, thanks. How about me? Can you hear me? <laughs> very good, Adam. Can you hear me? Am I okay? Yeah, very good. Okay, good. I figured it out from last time. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't have my volume up last time <laughs> uh, <laughs> on, on the on the uh, on the tablet. So <laughs> it was like you never know. I used to be in the computer business. Evening, everybody. Good evening. Hey, Stuart. Mike. All right, can we get an audio check for Commissioner Colville, please? I can hear you. Awesome, looks, thank you. Looks like we have everybody, in, including some um, some some young uh, commissioners to be. Welcome. So, um, hi everybody, uh, and good evening. I'd like to call to order the meeting of the Planning Commission for July twenty seventh, twenty twenty one. This regular planning commission meeting will be conducted via telecommunication and is compliant with provisions of the Brown Act and Executive Order N2920 um, issued by the governor. Corinne, may we have a roll call vote, please? Excuse me. Commissioner's Bookbinder. Okay, Commissioner Colville. Present. Mr. Cray? Here. Commissioner Rivlin? Here. Commissioner Zisser? Here. Vice Chair Ching? Present. And Chair Ostrowski? Present. I have all but Bookbinder. Oh, he's here. Maybe you didn't hear him. I don't think we heard you, Adam. You are, your, we can't hear you. Your audio's off. You're off mute, but we can't hear you. 
It means we're all here. <laughs> yes, you can see. Here, I'm going to try dialing back in one more time. Now we can hear you, Adam. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yep. And see you. Thank you. All right. So everybody is um, present. Um, has everyone had a chance to review the minutes and are there any corrections or modifications? No, all righty. Um, do we have a motion for approval of the minutes from the last meeting? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to move approval for the, of our minutes for our last meeting, uh, July 13th. Great, do we I'll have second. a second? I'll second. Thanks, Commissioner Sister. Sister? Uh, yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Cool. All right. Sorry about that. I, I missed the voice of who was the second on the motion. Commissioner. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Roll call. And uh, Corinne, may we have a roll call vote, please? Commissioner's bookbinder. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear. Are we voting on to accept the minutes? Yes. Uh, Commissioner bookbinder. Um, aye. Sir. Commissioner Colville. Aye. Commissioner Cray? Aye. Commissioner Riblin? Aye. Commissioner Zisser? Aye. Vice Chair Ching? Aye. Chair Ostrowski? Aye. 7-0, thank you. Great, thank you very much, Corinne. Um, Director Eastwood, do we have any um, communications for the commission this evening? We don't. <clears throat> uh, Chair Ostrowski, Rob Eastwood, Community Development Director, no agenda modifications or proposed those comments proposed by the department. Thank you. Great. All right. Um, so I will um, open the oral requests section of the meeting. This is the point in the meeting where any member of the public may address the commission on an item that's not on the agenda. You may speak for up to five minutes, but the planning commission may not take any action today. Um, do we have anybody who would like to speak this evening? Okay. Seeing none, um, I will close the public hearing then and move to our uh, agenda item for this evening. So we have one uh, topic on the agenda. Um, tonight's topic is a public hearing to consider the application PLN-2021-8586. Of Peter Gilly for site and architectural re review permits to allow approximately 60 square foot additions to two existing fourplexes, accommodating new bathrooms on properties located at 45 Fulton Street and 855 Whitwood Lane in the R2 multiple family residential zoning district. Um, and our planner for this item is Daniel Fama. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you, good evening. Let me uh, quickly share a screen here. All right. So as the project description indicates, this is sign architecture review permits, two separate permits for two minor additions to these existing fourplex structures as we see here. Uh, this is Fulton Street, uh, just south of Campbell Avenue, adjacent to the Kirkwood Plaza Shopping Center. Uh, the additions are proposed on the back side of both of these fourplexes under the existing roof structure. So they would be uh, virtually non-observable from the public street. Uh, according to the city's records, these lots were created in the early 1960s as part of the build out of this broader neighborhood. It uh, does not appear, however, that there are any past uh, planning commission approvals, meaning that these structures most likely were constructed via building permit as a ministerial action uh, shortly after the lots were created. I mentioned that because typically such minor additions can be administratively approved by staff. The zoning code does provide the ability for the director to allow minor additions and alterations to existing structures, but that is predicated on those buildings being previously approved by the plan commission. And since uh, we have no record of that ever occurring, uh, the expansion that as proposed by the applicant does technically require approval by the, uh, the planning commission. Now moving to the, the plans, uh, we see here, uh, again, the small 60 square foot additions on the back corners, filling in some space, allowing, allowing for construction of bathrooms uh, for these existing units. Uh, 
as noted in the staff report, staff does believe that the proposal does comply with all the considerations of review for our site architecture review permits and also satisfies the findings for approval. Uh, staff therefore does recommend that the planning commission adopt resolutions approving the two site and architectural review permits for the two properties. Thank you. Great, thank you very much. And um, do we have a SARC report? Um, yes, Chair, uh, this came up a couple of weeks ago. I think it was about the quickest SARC we've ever had. It's a bit of an odd, oddity because normally it wouldn't come up. It's just for historic reasons. We didn't have any issues at all. Great, yep. All righty. And um, any questions for um, Commissioner uh, Planner Fama, excuse me, on this item? Uh, yeah, Chair Ostrowski, I do have a question. Uh, uh, Daniel, it comes to mind uh, when I heard your report and when I read it again. We say that we didn't, uh, we couldn't approve this uh, staff wise very quickly because uh, the structure was not previously approved by the Planning Commission. But isn't, aren't the great majority of the buildings in Campbell not approved by the Planning Commission? So would this type of item almost always come up to the Planning Commission, therefore? Well, there are many single family homes that are within areas that are not subject to any design review. So those are always building permits from a brand new home to a small addition. But typically anything larger than single family, well, anything larger than a duplex on the residential side and really any commercial building going back at least 40, 50 years has required some level of discretionary review by the Planning Commission. Oh, thank you. Great. Any other questions? Um, actually, one one item for for staff. So, um, is it? Do we have plans to? Um, I guess uh, fix the issue with the uh, existing code that that um, led this to be a discretionary action. Yes, maybe uh, Director Eastwood would like to comment, but he does have uh, some desire to expedite our permit processes. Hi, <laughs> Robbie Eastwood, Community Development Director. Uh, answer your question. The, the answer is absolutely yes, Commissioner Buckbinder. So uh, there's a lot on the um, work plan with, with code work. One, one broad observation I've had so far, and this is exemplary, is there is a lot that comes to the Planning Commission and Council, which in my opinion, in many jurisdictions could be approved at a staff level. And this is just exemplary of it. I think in many instances, again, my, my opinion, some of our codes are getting in the way of housing and economic development because they do have to navigate up to the Planning Commission and Council. And in some instances, our standards just not our objective. So, so we are preparing a broad code update. Uh, we wanna do it right. And I, I brought this up before, we're currently working on the general plan update finishing out with the housing element. So I think rather than just do one, you know, small code updates, once that work is finished, uh, we would do some extensive comprehensive code updates, but the, the broad intent would be to streamline uh, projects like this to answer your question. Yeah. Thanks. Great. Thank you, Director Eastwood. I think we're all looking forward to that. Okay, if there are no other questions, I will go ahead and open the public hearing uh, with the applicant. Would the applicant like to speak on this item? Um, if you Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah, hey, well, thank you for inviting me into your homes tonight. It's interesting. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, you know, this is a very small project. I was actually surprised we had to go to this level of review, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, it's pretty simple. So thank you. Great. Thank you and welcome. Uh, anybody else like to speak on this item? All right. With that, I will close the public hearing um, and open it up to the commission to discuss. Anybody would like to start us off? Uh, I have nothing to add about this. We looked at it at SARC. <clears throat> it, it's eminently reasonable. It, interesting to see how they're, you know, adding bathrooms to four plexes, but uh, I, there's really nothing to the side here apart from it looks reasonable to me. Great, thanks Commissioner Bookbinder. I know it's a pretty simple item. So, you know, if anyone has a motion, 
I think that's uh, perfectly reasonable as well. Well, I'm happy to make a motion. Uh, I don't know if we need two motions since there's two sites or not. Uh, Staff, what, what do you think? Well, there are, we did incorporate uh, two separate resolutions because it, it is technically two properties with two separate permits, but it can be a single motion. Okay. Just reference both attachments one and two. Yeah, yeah, I'll just, I'll make a motion that the uh, Planning Commission uh, approve a site and architectural re review permit PLN 2021-85 to allow approximately 60 square foot additions to existing fourplexes on properties located at uh, 45 Fulton Street and also at 1855 Whitwood Lane. Thank you, Commissioner Cray. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Thank you, Commissioner Bookbinder. Corinna, may we have a, uh, a roll call vote, please? Uh, Commissioner Bookbinder? Aye. Bill? Aye. Cray? Aye. Rivlin? Aye. Yes, sir? Aye. Mr. Chair Ching? Aye. Meryl Strowski? Aye. Zero. Great, thank you. That item passes unanimously and the planning commission action is final unless appealed in writing to the city clerk within 10 calendar days. Um, so with that, um, Director Eastwood, do we have anything to report to the commission this evening? Hi, thanks. Uh, congratulations again on a lightning fast uh, commission. <laughs> New record. Arguably, arguably not sure if you needed to have it, but uh, you guys do business uh, very quickly. Uh, just two quick things. One is uh, with respect to continued Zoom, uh, coming back uh, to the county in-person meetings. Uh, report I have is uh, mostly you know, due to the Delta variant, some, some new mask recommendations. Uh, there will be a delay on opening City Hall and bringing the council and then the commissions back. Uh, the report I have is the earliest will be September for the council and then I said anticipate late September, or October for the commission. Uh, if the uh, city uh, clerk has reached out to you with vaccination questions, hope, hope you work with them. I don't know they're asking those questions of all the commissions. And then the second, uh, with Corinne, I looked at, uh, I'm looking at training, training budget, trying to get training for the commission. I know it's required for new commissioners. There's training with the League of Cities. Uh, we did look at the American Planning Association, California, Ch California chapter conference. Uh, kind of mixed to use this year's, it's virtual. So not, not, not as good as in person, but uh, totally understand given the COVID situation. Uh, we do have budget for all of you. So if you have any interest uh, on attending the APA uh, California agenda, yeah, didn't want to report that out. Uh, more than happy to, uh, we will sponsor each and every commissioner to go attend that and we can push out an information to you to sign up. Uh, that's all I have to report and uh, uh, nothing further. Thanks. Thank you. And, and what's the date on that meeting? Uh, I think it's uh, September, October. Uh, I'll, I'll circle up with Corinne and we can push out to all the commissioners the dates. Uh, no, no huge rush because you don't have to get housing. Uh, but, you know, we probably want to know by late August, September, who's, who's signing up so we can get you signed up. Great. Sounds great. And yes, uh, it was a quick meeting. We're very efficient. We, we have um, very lively discussions when there's, um, when there's items that need discussion. <laughs> Understood. All right. Well, uh, uh, one thing I, I wanted to follow up on uh, just real briefly. Um, four weeks ago, I uh, checked with Director Eastwood about code updates, and uh, he said check back next month. Uh, so, what you said earlier about we're, we're going to be doing a sort of a, an overhaul after the general plan housing element stuff. Um, is there anything um, in terms of short term fixes planned in the meantime, such as for ambulance? parking and ambulatory sur uh, surgery centers was the example from a month ago. Yeah, no, very good question. Uh, I, I just finished our, our work plan <clears throat> schedule for this year and on it, I think I just flowed with you. There's a couple items that I know had come through the commission. There's an ADU amnesty uh, sections. There's the objective standards, which are very important. Um, there's some codes updates needed on the, I'm trying to remember, AB, uh, 32 and a density bonus. Uh, so what I can bring to you next time I'll commit is expectations on when those will come to the commission so we can plan those out and we'll just know when they're coming. 
And then on the smaller updates, let me let me see how we can plug those in. Again, the broad strategy we have is on big updates that need more thought, do the general plan work first. If there's quick updates, uh, we'd love to actually pair those, uh, you know, small things that are just, you know, you can get done. Uh, love to pair those with projects just to get them out of the way. Uh, so I'll have to, we'll look a bit more at the one and the referral you had, uh, Commissioner Buckbinder on the parking ambulatory services and just uh, we'll report back out how that'll fit uh, within either of those two strategies. Okay. Thank you very much. And I, I look forward to seeing the um, our schedule uh, uh, at the next meeting. Great. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. And um, uh, have a great evening. And we will see you all in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye.